Generally, frequent separation tends to make our image look flat. Though it's the most popular and easiest way of rendering the skin of your model flawless and pleasing to the eye. In this video, I'll be giving you a general overview of my frequency separation and in more details, we'll go into dodge and burn and how to add that internal glow to your image. Dodge and burn enhances the features of your image using light and dark adjustment layers applied with a brush to bring out more details to the image. You can't afford to miss this. So with no further ado, let's get started. For this image, you can see the before and the after frequency separation. Frequency separation takes your image from very bad to something acceptable. But like I previously said, it renders the image flat. And that's where dodge and bond comes in. You can see the layers are used for this frequency separation, the high frequency and the low frequency. And you can see the correcting tone layer here where mixer brush is used to mix the tone and even out things the frequency separation rate this year was 15 also i think my frequency separation radius varies lies the gaussian blur radius varies from image to image so don't be lazy try to practice with different radius and see what comes out good for you Lower radius value from 1 to 8 tends to make the overall image smooth and takes out the texture from the image. So using a higher radius gives more details. You can experiment with different values. Different values work for different images. Like for headshot larger values are better and for far images uh, smaller reduced values works better let's go into the jumbo which is the main topic of this uh, video if you want me to go into more details on frequency separation let me know in the comment section and if we have enough comments we'll make a video on frequency separation in the future so make sure you subscribe already and let us know in the comment section. I'll be using an action for this request operation. Uh, a link in the description will lead you to my Instagram homepage. Here you see a link to the link to where we host this action and other useful resources. This is a dodge layer and this is a bone layer. The dodge is for brightening and the bone is for darkening. Take the brush to opacity at 70. Flow between 3 and uh, 5. Let's use 3 and C. If it doesn't do the job, we might increase it or reduce it. Increase your brush size using the bracket keys. and paint over where you want to brighten with your dodge layer selected you can see right now i'm painting the under eyes to enhance the highlight there the makeup on your model plays a very vital role in the overall outcome of the image so make sure you get a good makeup artist if you are trying to showcase your retouching skill before after in a bit i will be showing how to enhance the glues of the skin so just stick around 
now on the bond layer you paint over the contours to enhance the contours in this image you can zoom in or zoom out depending on where you are brushing on enhance the contours you can see if you're using the right brush setting this can be very fast Try not to overdo it, but don't be afraid. You can use the opacity slider to play with the general this is the before, this is the after. Try to get a smooth transition between the light and dark areas of the image. This is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. Basically, we are just painting over where it's supposed to be bright, making it more brighter. This gives a three-dimensional feel to the overall image. Let's create a group for this so that we can toggle between before and after. This is the before, this is the after, before, after. At this point, you can take a break, go do something, come back, look at the image, and see if there's anywhere you are supposed to dodge, anywhere you are supposed to burn, or anywhere you are supposed to enhance the transition between dodge and burn. From this point, you can go on to add a glowing effect to the skin. Don't rush while retouching, but just to keep this tutorial short precise and impactful we'll be taking much time going over and over but in an actual retouch make sure you take your time opacity 100 flow 90 80 or let's use a flow of 100 that also works make sure your foreground is white and toggle between foreground background here and in case maybe there's a color you can click right here to take it to black and white then toggle take your brush paint over the highlights where you want to add this glue and see exactly where I'm painting In a minute, you see the magic. Maybe somewhere here. Right click on the empty layer you just painted on. Click on blending options. Right here in the layer style dialog, drag the slider to the right. Watch your image. When this begins to diminish you hold alt click on the triangle and separate it split and adjust make sure you watch what is happening on the image that's where your focus should be you can see click on ok before after before after this is exactly how to add that glue and shininess to your image this is the before and this is the after you can go on to add a cost adjustment yes five input watch the input between five and ten would not be that bad you can see exactly what i'm doing this is the before this is the after. Let's group everything to see the overall before and after. Control to s and click to select. This is the before. This is the after. A massive transformation. Like I told you, you can go take a break and come back. And still make adjustment 
small adjustment here and there with the fluff too going to enhance the shape of the nose by painting right here this slims down the nose and make the the model look more beautiful this is the before this is the after before after from here you can go on to add lots to the skin to enhance the skin tone there are several lots on our instagram homepage. that is there's a link tree there so you can check that out you can add a lookup table and load your lots from where you saved it let me add this follow come lot you can see amazing before and after we'll be deleting this i just wanted to show you how to add loss in a photoshop so that's it you can go on to enhance the eyes do more i'll be putting out videos on how to draw eyelashes uh correct the shape of the eyebrows how to enhance the eye retouch eye retouch lips and so many other contents we put in our free resources lightroom preset and what have you so if you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up make sure you like this video we like to get your feedback in the comment section and that's it for this video see you in another video thank you